Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome. Welcome to Barebones Kitchen. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. Cheers. All right. I got my pans nice and hot. Okay, you guys. So yesterday, yesterday. Oh, let me back up. Let me back up. Sorry. I was putting my salt in. Um, yesterday. Nope. I said I was going to back up. If you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, allow me to inspire you to cook something amazing for yourself, your family, your friends. We don't judge around here. All right. Thank you, Kitchenettes, Kitchen Littles, and Kitchen Nuggets for joining me tonight. Okay, so I'm going to pour these in there. This is just some mixed vegetables. Oh, some broccoli and cauliflower. That's what I got tonight. Why? Because these are Zane's favorites. Okay, I may have had this pan a little bit hot. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I know, kind of lucky for me and unlucky for me in the same tone, all my birthday flowers are flying away here. Um, that I have a child that loves green vegetables. And I don't know what it is, you guys. I don't know what it is about this kid and the green vegetables. All right, so I'm going in with the pepper, the salt, and the Weber's garlic and herb. How are you all tonight? I hope you are fantastic. I am adjusting to a new normal at work, so yeah. All right, so let me get back to where I was at before I decided to backtrack. Okay, let me get back to where I was at. So last night, Zane says to me, Mom, what are you going to do for your show tomorrow? And I said, you know, son, per usual, per usual, because if you've been in Bare Bones Kitchen for any amount of time, you know I'm not a planner. I don't plan, you guys. I, I, and I know the famous saying, okay? I know the famous saying. I'm not planning to fail, but I just, I'm not very good at meal planning. So if you are a kitchenette that loves meal planning, please let me know. I really kind of suck at it. Um, and I said, let's do something fun. I was like, here's the deal. How about you go in the freezer and you pick out something, as long as it's not ribs, and I'm going to roll with it, right? So that was that was the instruction. I'm just going in with some vegetable oil, you guys, because we're going to do some pork chops, which was really not that much of a surprise to me. Okay, not really that much of a surprise to me. And I find that I keep vegetable oil on hand just for stuff like this. When we did meal prep Monday, was it last week? I actually took some of those chicken breasts, cut them in half, and I breaded them. And then tonight, I realized that I used all of my panko for that chicken. And I thought I had another one up there. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm going to do some breaded pork chops tonight. Because I don't think we've done breaded pork chops. We've done grill top pork chops. We've done in the oven pork chops. I think we're just going to throw down. We're going to throw down. I did call it, Steph. As soon as I walked into the kitchen, I saw him I saw him thawing out in the sink. And I was like, I freaking knew that boy was going to pick the damn pork chops. I literally took mental note all day today. Like, what do I have? What do I have? I was like, oh, maybe he'll surprise me and pull out some wings or something, you know. It was, yep, yep. It was, it's, I guess I just know my kid. I don't know. All right, so I have my pork chops. I did put a little layer of seasoning on the top of them while they're chilling. I have some flour. I, you guys, I'm not going to, I'm not going to measure this. I'm just going to throw some in my pan and then I'm going to season it. And then I have two um, eggs here that we're going to mix up. So first I'm going to start with this flour. I'm going to turn that down for a minute. I'm going to actually just turn it off for a minute because it's pretty hot already. We're going to go with, in with my trifecta. And I really should have been a little bit more prepared with this, but I wasn't. Does that surprise you? I wasn't. Hello, Wheeler. How are you? Burn them damn veggies if I don't get on them. All right, going in with my pepper. And this is into my flour. So just remember, you guys, if you're doing anything breaded, 
make sure you're layering your flavors. Like, don't be afraid to season all of the levels. So season your meat, season your flour, season your eggs. And that's really just going to be based on whatever it is that you enjoy. So I'm always going to use my trifecta every time. I am adjusting to a new normal. My counterparts, oh, my counterpart in my office retired on Friday. I'm going in with some of this Tony's. If you haven't used this, this is really good, you guys. Um, I'm doing that in the flour. Um, my counterpart retired and our replacement for her is not due in until next week. And she will not be in <coughs> any mode yet to, <coughs> excuse me, to um, actually do the work yet. Because you got to learn it. I mean, you, you got to learn the stuff. And so lucky me, I know how to do almost everything. Almost. I'm not so good with spreadsheets. And in my job, we have a disgusting, disgusting amount of spreadsheets. So I'm navigating through it. That's what I'm doing right now. I am just thriving amid the chaos. And that is where I will leave that. Okay, bust out my little whisk here. Just gonna make my flour all seasoned. I'm just mixing in those spices. <coughs> and again, you guys, you're just gonna go it until go at it until you feel like that's enough seasoning. You know, like don't don't get too specific with it. That's the beauty of the layers. If you season your your product and then you season your flour and you season your eggs you should be good to go all right so i have my two eggs i'm just going to mix those up real quick and in my egg mixture i i have two eggs five pork chops i'm just going to add a little quarter cup of water here and then some sriracha a good, I don't know, tablespoon-ish? That's, that's what I'm going with. We're going with a tablespoon. Don't want to burn these because Zane is like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He gets all pissy at me. Gets mad at me when I burn things, you know? Sometimes everything doesn't come out like uh, food channels, okay? It's not always the way it works. Sometimes you burn stuff because your mom talks too freaking much. All right. I'm also, oh, I'm also gonna throw this around. That's what I'm gonna do right now. We're, we're gonna throw it around. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper to this. Actually, I'm just gonna add my whole trifecta because why not? Hopefully that's enough. If not, I'm gonna make it work. Whatever it turns out to be, I'm gonna make it work. A little salt. little pepper. So anybody, anybody else out there like resistant to change? You know, it's funny because my, one of my favorite sayings is that the only thing constant in life is change, right? But I am so the last person that likes change. I absolutely hate it. And it's, it's not because I don't like the change. I mean, obviously in this case, I do not like the change. Um, but and that's just because it's uncomfortable, because change is uncomfortable for all of us, right? What I really don't like is the expectation I have of myself within that change. I just, you know, it takes me, I get real grumpy when things change. I, I really do. And I will be the first one to admit it. But that's, it's just how it is, you guys. It's just how it is. All right, so just so you know, I have a pan in my oven. My oven is set at 350 because we're going to probably end up finishing these off in the oven. So I'm going to go in with my pork chop in the flour. We're going to go flour, egg, flour. Because again, I don't have any more panko because I used it all and didn't realize it. Just like that shake and bake from when we were kids, you know? 
Okay, some of us. Not everybody had shake and bake. It is still available, though. All right. Rocking it out right now. Woo! It was a close one. That could have been a disaster. Could have been a disaster. So I knew that kid of mine was going to pick damn pork chops, and I should have come up with something a little bit more inventive. But sometimes you just got to roll with what you know. Do you feel me? It doesn't always have to be like exquisite cuisine, right? Because I've been watching way too much Hell's Kitchen anyway, so their pork chops are like 500 times thicker than mine. And probably were not bought at Winco. I'm just throwing that out there. You don't like change either? <laughs> change is kind of lame. I mean, it's good because it makes you realize things about yourself. Like, I took in headphones to work. Oh, gosh. Because the silence is almost deafening. And then when somebody comes up and starts talking, I'm like, oh, my God, shut up. I don't even want to hear your voice. And it's not because I have anything against anybody at work. I just am, like, I readjusted to the silence. So, it's kind of how it works. How it works for me. I can't help it. I just can't help it. So, again, we're going flour, egg, flour. And that's going to give it that nice coating that hopefully will turn out okay. I think I have enough gazillion gallons of oil over here. That it should turn out all right. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I agree. These pork chops are good. They're good this way. But, you know, I got a little bougie bitch that I'm raising, so he always wants to have, like, specifics. Specifics. That's, that's how that kid rolls. I'm like, you are, like, the pickiest unpicky kid I've ever met. What do you mean, Mom? Like, you won't eat salad unless it's Caesar salad. But boy, howdy, if we're talking calamari, he's all about it. And recently, he's really kind of started to take a liking to um, hot stuff. So, uh, was it last week, the week before, I think, I did uh, that spicy pineapple sauce. He was like, this doesn't have any flavor. I took a bite of you guys, oh my gosh, it was so freaking hot, and I'm like, it doesn't have any flavor, but it's freaking hot, it's hot, yeah, it was good stuff, good stuff, he's just kind of like, meh, meh, it's fine, but I do agree, like, I, I don't mind spice, I just don't want it to overpower what I'm eating, that's always my big problem with spices, that people get real excited about things being hot. But I want it to be hot and flavorful. I don't want it to be just hot. I guess that could translate into, like, life in general, right? I don't want you to just be hot. I want you to be, like, flavorful, too. Because if you're just something nice to look at, then you probably don't have a brain. Just saying. It's also relative, like, because what I think is hot might not be what somebody else thinks is hot, right? Same thing with your food. Same thing with your food. All right, I'm getting way too deep for this shit. All right, way too deep. What else we got? Doing a, a seafood boil next weekend with my children. That will be a good time. They like that. Zane, of course, only likes the the uh, shrimp <laughs> and the bread and the potatoes. He's like shrimp, shrimp, bread, potatoes. Sometimes the sausage, depending on what kind of sausage I get. I don't know. What's your guys' favorite meal to do? What's your favorite meal to do for holiday gatherings or any kind of gatherings? Like, what's your favorite thing? Let me know. Let me know in them comments. What's your, what's your favorite go-to dish to bring or have? I used to get real excited about Thanksgiving, but the last couple of years is just, I don't know, it just hasn't been the same. All right. 
think we're about ready to turn this over. Oh yeah! Look at how pretty that is! Except the garlic in my, my trifecta always freaking burns. It'll be fine. It'll, be, it'll totally be fine. It'll be fine. I do have my rice back here too. Again, you got a two to one ratio. Two cups of liquid here, one cup of rice. Got my, my veggies over here doing its thing. I'm just gonna turn it down so I don't burn it because heaven forbid. I bought some garlic knots the other day. Zane requested those as well. So I'm going to throw those in the air fryer. It takes like five minutes, if that. It's pretty amazing. I do love a good air fryer. You see, I did all right with the with the uh, ratio of flour here. And if you really want to, like, get crazy with it, you could totally make a gravy out of this. I, I don't recommend. Now, let me back up. I don't recommend you use all of this oil to make your gravy. But from the little drippings in there... And all the flour that's all crispy in there, I'm going to make some good gravy. I will do that because, of course, they just don't eat gravy. And when I make gravy, I can't just make a small amount of gravy. i got to make a bunch of gravy, and then it ends up going to waste. So that's that's just how we're going to roll. That's We're just going to leave it as it is, depending on, on how dirty your oil gets. You can absolutely strain that and reuse it. I'm not one to judge. I've been known to do that a time or two. Because I don't typically buy vegetable oil, even late, even though lately I've had it. Like, I don't typically buy it because I don't cook with vegetable oil. I cook with olive oil. But if that's, if that's your jam, you're going to know when it's funky, okay? You're going to know. It's going to smell funky. It's going to look funky. Do you think the fries you get at McDonald's when you get that fry those good fries it's because they changed the damn oil it's not because of anything else it just tastes better because there's not you know a bunch of other crap in there that's 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 the key fresh oil is always going to be a little bit better plus your oil is going to disintegrate over time so you don't want to do that too many times but if you know you're going to be doing a couple things with it you're probably golden just use a coffee filter or some cheesecloth or uh, what else? Paper towels. You can strain it. You'll be good. Good to go. That's a semi-pro tip. That's my semi-pro tip for the night. Go in with this little thermometer here. See where we're at. Right, we're rock, rocking about 124 degrees. You want your pork to be at 145. So I'm going to throw this in the oven and get these other two in here. Keep it at a high temperature so your, your stuff stays crisp. Obviously, you don't want it in there for too long. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever made pork chops like this for Zane, so he might be pleasantly surprised. He was very excited about the chicken. He was like, Mom, this is the best chicken you've ever made. I'm like, oh, good to know. All right, that's, that's it. Bam, whoop, well, there it is. All right, y'all, so I do know that I need to catch up on videos. Oh, I'm throwing stuff on the floor all over the place. Um, I need to catch up on YouTube videos. I am going to do that most likely tomorrow, probably by Sunday. But, you know, in my true fashion, who knows? Who really knows? I'm not going to make you promises I can't keep because sometimes I really suck at that. Yeah, sometimes. Jalapeno peppers are always a big hit. You bring them everywhere. I've seen pictures of them jalapeno poppers, and they look delicious. Absolutely freaking lutely delicious. Um, what else do I got going on? I don't know what else I have going on. 
YouTube will be updated. Let's see. We got, we got Suck It Up Saturday this weekend. I was like, do we? Don't we? Did we do that? We didn't do that last weekend. So we got Suck It Up Saturday this weekend. Woohoo! Maybe I can actually find the Blackberry Crown Royal I've been searching for for legitimately three weeks. Um, I've had no luck. I've, I've, I've gone to several several places and nobody seems to have it because it is a hot commodity right now apparently and I don't know Crown Royal's just slacking or something I'm not sure what's going on with that um other than that I'm not gonna make you guys wait for this pan like I've got some in the oven I'm just gonna bring them up to 145 degrees we're gonna have some dinner I'm gonna show I'm gonna plate it all up and show you I'm gonna show you when it's all done so I will see you all on Saturday for Suck It Up Saturday. Thank you for joining me. Y'all keep showing up and so do I. Cheers on that note. And I shall see you Saturday. Goodbye.